I'm just going to make a copy of this template, so I'm going to call it demo. So hopefully it's loading up. So it's now my own personal copy of this. Um, so there's some setup instructions here, so I need to display the menu. I uh, can't find the function because subscript can be annoying like that sometimes. Let's have another look. Let's see if it's actually here. Uh, sometimes the problem is it doesn't copy across. So it's okay. So it's come up with the um, authorization. So it's basically saying that um, I need it to authorize whether or not this app can access my my inbox and various other options. Um, so I want want it to do that. Uh, and I want to grant access. And this is very personal. So this is your copy of the spreadsheet, and it's accessing your inbox. So it's all within the Google authentication. So unless you go off and publish this um, sheet to someone else, you know, it's it's secure. Um, so let's try that button again and see. So now we have a, a custom menu option. And this is where we can start linking um, stuff together. So uh, I want to do some tweeting, so I need to uh, register for a API key. So it's quite straightforward to do it. The instructions are there. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste the bits and pieces in um, just to show you some of the features. So I saved that. You can see this is now turned to a P. So this is um, partial, partially configured. Um, Twitter uses OAuth authentication, and so it's slightly different in term, terms of authorizing. So we have to go back into the script editor and authorize. Uh, so fingers crossed. So I'm going to authorize. So we start off with Gmail authentication, and now we're adding some Twitter authentication. So this is all very secure. I don't want you to remember my password. So if we go back in here, we now got a yes. So we've got a link from something through to Twitter. Uh, let's do something similar for Delicious. So Delicious doesn't have OAuth authentication. It has very basic authentication. So I'm just going to add my Delicious account. Save configuration. And that's time to yes. And let's add Daigo. So I'm gone again. And so far, I've just got these free services, uh, but you know the, the basic process is going to be similar for all of them. As long as they have API access that allows me to enter my details and connect it up, then I can do this for other bits and pieces. Um, at any point, I can turn it off. So if I don't want stuff to start going into my delicious, I can just turn it off. Um, the other thing is this processing bit. So this is going to um, essentially, it's going to look at my inbox every 15 minutes. So, again, if I go on holiday, I can turn things on and off. Uh, so, click the switch. So, it's all, all on. So, now it needs something in my inbox to actually, you know, um, process and do something with. So, it's asking for your email. So, what we're... Oh, my email in. So it's thinking, and it's come up with these email addresses. Now it's a, it's quite an old trick of um, Gmail that uh, you can have thousands and thousands of your own personal email addresses just by adding this plus sign. So uh, my my you'll see my email address is demo at oxyinfo, and by adding plus, this email will still go into my my inbox, just my inbox. Um, but by adding a plus, it means that it's easy for me to filter it. Um, so I can look for an email um, to demo dot, uh, plus Twitter, and I know it's something I want to tweet out. So um, it can be a bit of a hassle setting up all those uh, email filters. So what we've got here is if I publish this sheet to a service, uh, this 
we're just going to temporarily publish this because I need access to this file here. So what it's going to do is I'm going to save that file uh, and I'll just, while well, it's downloading, basically this is the file it's, it's downloading, um, which is a, a within Gmail you can set up and share instructions using XML markup. So here's a essentially what we want to do with my inbox. So back in my inbox, I need to go into the settings and I need to enable one of the labs. So the lab I need to enable is this import tool. Let's see if we can find it. So import filters. So I'm, this this allows me just to easily, easily grab that XML file. Uh, so we'll save the changes. So if I go back into settings again, into filters, I can now import filters. So the file I want was the one I just downloaded. Uh, I might download, which is a mess. There we go. Open file. So what it's done is it's set up some instructions here. So when an email comes in from, from me, so this is my demo account, and it's to this email address, then it's going to apply a certain filter to it. And there's um, three of these. So I'm going to create the filters. All done. Um, so it's created new labels for me for um, Delicious, Daigo, and Twitter. And as I say, it's only email from me to me, essentially, that it's going to process. So it gives you a level of security. You could add additional people. So if you're wanting to do group book bookmarking, then you could. Uh, you just add more people in the from uh, field. So let's go back here. So this is our sheet. Oh, the last setting is what to do with the message once it's processed. So in this case, we're moving it to a burn. You could just mark it as red as the other option. So let's try and see if this all works. If we go back here, so um, what I'll need to do is switch to my own Gmail account so that you can see what's going on. Let me just pull in my Gmail. So here's uh, that was a test message. So I'm going to show you this with, uh, just because this um, emulator is configured with my own inbox. Let's. So now we can easily email stuff. So it's pulled in the uh, the the link. It's a bit of a messy link because it's a uh, feed burner, so it's free pro proxy. What the script will do is actually find where that uh, link goes to. And within here, I've set up some contacts. So as soon as I start typing Twitter, you can see it's, it's all filling for me. I can send something to Twitter. I can also send something to Delicious at the exact same time. I can also send something to Daigo all at the same time just by adding the contacts uh, into the, the to field. So what it's going to um, tweet or send or bookmark sign with is the, the title of, of the link. So we have the title here. Um, for tweets, I can annotate it. So I can add hashtags and things like that. Um, the other thing you can do is within here, um, you can t add your own tags. So when it processes the message, it's going to parse out anything with tags. So I can tag this is star so and these can be comma separated they'll, they'll parse it out so fingers crossed that this is actually going to send email um, and what will happen is in fact I can show you this example here so it's going to look for 
messages that are um, unread. So I'm just going to unread this message for a second. And you see it's got the labels on here. Um, so these are the labels that it's going to look at when it runs the script. So if I go back to... Uh, in fact, let me go to my version of this. So Gmail productivity me. So you can see I've been running this for a while and it's got I've, I've got a kind of overview of the activity. So I've already tweeted out 45 um, links, 10 delicious bookmarks from 13. Um, so let's go behind the scenes and see what's happening. I'll just talk you through the script. So we're setting up some bits and pieces at the beginning. This is the the, uh, the the custom menu, and this is the bit. This is the meat that processes uh, the inbox. So it's going to my Gmail. It's got a, a search that it's looking for, and um, so it's looking for those filters, um, uh, the the labeled messages, and then it's doing something with the message. Um, so let's see if I put a breakpoint here and process. So this will all be happening behind the scenes. And once you've set it up, uh, it'll, it'll happily do this. So I'm just going to show you what's happening. So um, it's picked up that uh, message title. It's got the message body. Um, it knows what service it's going to push it to. So in this case, it's Twitter. Uh, let's go into the message itself. So there are a couple of sub functions here. Let's see if step over is working again. So it's going to extract the link. So you see it's got the URL. And it was a free proxy URL, but it's got um, the actual uh, O'Reilly full link. Um, let's see if this one had any tags in it. Yep, so it's picked up the tag. If I hover over the message, you should see that one of the tags was just AR. So it's picked that up. And if there were more, it would have picked those up. Um, there's also a description. You can add a description to the message. And it's, it's going to do some other things. Let's step out of that for now. Um, so the next part it does is uh, go off to the service and do something. And it gets a log of what it's done. So it's come back with a response. And we can see it was a success. So it tweeted something out. So let's actually go into Twitter. and see what I've said. So there it is. It's posted it out. That was the message. It's the radar. If I go into the details of the message, something to be aware of, uh, is this bit. So this is the name of my, my app um, when I did the set up the Twitter API bit. Um, so you can customize that. You can, it's the latest thing. Um, you can pimp your tweets with some your your custom uh, name or whatever you want. So we go back in here. It's going to do that. Um, let's see. Let's keep going. Let's see. So that was the the tweet. the The message was also tagged with delicious. So. It's going to do the exact same thing with Delicious. It's going to um, basically build up something to push to, 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 to Delicious. So we step out of that. So it's going to process the message again. And if I go into Delicious and Hoxie, You see, it's added it, uh, and it's put 
tagged it as well. Um, and so if we go back to my inbox, you see that uh, that particular one has been binned because it's been processed. Um, and there's a log. So we have a, basically a record of everything that's happened. So we can see um, if you know it's successfully put something in. Uh, you can see also if it's failed. So there you go. Um, the way I've designed this is to be um, quite easy for me to extend, so if people start nagging me for other services to add, then it's quite easy for me to add them. Um, so there you go, that's it.